Hey again. You may remember a while back I reviewed Vib Ribbon for the PS1, uh, a fun little game that sadly never found its way to North America. Until now. Yes, I believe it was Tuesday the game finally became available uh, for download on the PlayStation Store. Uh, it's currently $6 or $4.79 if you have PlayStation Plus. Although it is only available for PS3, PSP, and PS Vita. So if you bought a PS4, nice going, you dumb bastard! Also, obviously, the entire point of the game is that you can use your own CDs, uh, which is quite problematic for the PS Vita and PSP versions. But apparently, it works quite well on the PS3. Uh, I say apparently because I don't actually own the PS3 version myself since I have the actual game. Also, if I might amend my review slightly, I don't think I gave enough love to the songs that come included with the game. Especially since if you get it on PS Vita, that's the only songs you're going to be able to play. <gasps> the songs are these really strange Japanese blend of genres that... It's hard to describe, really. It's kind of got a dub, a pop, a club, and... It's just a treat for the ears. I listen to them all the time now. They are a permanent fixture in my music playing. Although, so is a lot of really awful Japanese stuff, so I guess I can't remember that. Yo, the beat is strong. Yo, the beat is strong, but the night is long. Also, okay, oh my goodness. I do stand by what I said in my early reviews, but I have uh, replayed the game recently with uh, the Super Mario 3D World soundtrack and Tenacious D's self-titled first album. <coughs> and I have to say that it's still hit and miss as to how the songs work, but if you get something nice and rhythmic, melodic, and, uh, you know, that keeps a constant beat, like video game music, it works very well. Whereas if you pick something a little more wacky and anarchistic, like Tenacious D, eh, it doesn't really work so well. Although the game does give you an autoplay function, so you can watch that and see how the song is supposed to be played, Although in that mode, for some reason, you can only play through the entire album, so if you want to master one particular song, you have to sit through Tenacious D talk about inward singing before you can get to the actual track that you want to learn. And even then, once you've seen how it's supposed to be done, replicating it can be an absolute nightmare since if it is following a rhythm, it's not the one that you think it would be. If you play the song tapping your foot along to the beat, you'll lose, because it's not going to be requiring you to press a button on every tap of the beat. So in that way, it's a very strange rhythm game, because following the rhythm sometimes will work, sometimes it won't. I'm still not sure if that makes it a really hard game or a really bad one, but either way, it's really fun to play, and it's fun to just dig out an album and see how well it works. If you have uh, a nice collection, if you have a big collection of CDs, definitely give this game a try. If you don't have any CDs, or you only have a PS Vita, somehow, somehow, I don't know how that would even be possible, but let's just say you are one of, not only, one of the five people on the planet who own a PS Vita, you happen to only have a PS Vita. In which case, I would say, yeah, go for it. <laughs> god. Oh my god, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Oh my god, I definitely should have wrote a script. This is why I don't do it just on the spur. On the spur? <laughs> so, all in all, I would recommend Vib Ribbon. Uh, especially if you're an American and you're interested in seeing what you've missed. Go for it. Six dollars is like nothing. 
Uh, it's definitely worth that just for the soundtrack of the games. Oh my fucking god. It's definitely worth it just for the songs that come included on the disc anyway. And by disc I mean digital download, I suppose. Oh my god, that was awful. But I want to get a steady stream of content going. You know, I've hit two Fridays in a row. So, you know, I'll do this Friday, and I'll do next Friday, and then I'll do Are We There Yet? Yeah!